Jeff Freddy here from Fantasy Springs with my tip of the week. This week, one of my mother Stella's Thanksgiving side dishes, broccoli cheddar souffle. So we're gonna melt on the stove in a sauce pot, two ounces of butter, maybe a little bit more. We're gonna make a bechamel sauce with a hint of garlic in it, but we want it to be a little bit slightly on the thicker side than a, than a classic bechamel. Two ounces of flour, and just slightly, slowly incorporate that in there into the butter, and what we're making is a roux. I just put a little bit of the flour in, teaspoon of minced garlic, and cook that in there as well. Now we'll go back to adding the rest of the flour. Once again, slowly. You do want to cook this for two or three minutes. You want that paste-like consistency, we can see there. Before we add our half and half, I like to warm mine a little bit, okay? That way, when you add it to the roux, it doesn't form a lot of clumps. If you put it in ice cold, you could see some lumps. I find that it's a little bit better if you have the half and half warm, and you still want to add it in slowly. So to this, we're gonna add about a quart of half and half. Next to season, one teaspoon dry mustard, pinch of cayenne pepper, pinch of nutmeg, a little kosher salt, fresh ground black pepper. Keep it at a simmer, and we're gonna start melting in our two cups of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. See, it's a nice thick bechamel. So now what we want to do here is to cool down this cheese sauce. But you could just let this cool down on the counter. Once your sauce is sufficiently chilled, you can add five beaten eggs to that. Next step is take a pre-buttered casserole or baking dish. To that, we'll add our broccoli florets. We'll add our cheddar bechamel. All right, just smooth that out. Then you want to take and just give it a few pats down on the surface, that cheddar that you reserved, that's a nice topping for that. Little paprika there for color and actually a little flavor as well. Now we're gonna take our, our broccoli cheddar souffle into an oven that was preheated to 325. And let that bake for about a good 40, 45 minutes at the most till there's no looseness at all to it, it's nice and firm. Then you take it out, you let it set up for a good half an hour to 45 minutes before service. You're gonna love it. And there you have it, broccoli and cheddar souffle. I'm Chef Freddy from Fantasy Springs, and I'll see you next time. Forget about it.